Ali, let me finish, please, please. Go ahead. Rashad, now, the the concept of what, uh, basically what, what you just said makes no sense at all, uh, because I don't think anybody is saying that the Bible is corrupted, according to us. Your Quran is claiming that the Bible is corrupt. Christians, Christians believe that the Bible, it's a, it's, a, it's a word inspired by God. That's a huge difference from what Muslims believe. Muslims believe that the Quran is the word of Allah. So even comma, even punctuation has to be perfect. Cannot have any diversion or any uh, punctuation uh, differences, any variant, right? Well, I just wanted to thank the G guy who left. You see, actually he proved our case. What did he say? He says our Bible is another book than your Quran. Our Bible doesn't have to be perfect. Yes, I agree with you. Your Bible isn't perfect. Thanks for admitting everybody. They are telling us their scriptures has not been changed. Muslims are the only one who are claiming this. Let's see who has the truth. Sheep, which Torah do you follow? Which Torah do I follow? What? Yes, what which mean? Torah? We fo I follow the whole scripture. Which Torah Testament do you follow? I follow the Old Testament and the New Testament. That's it. The Torah is written by Moses. We agree with that, but it's part of the Old Testament. It's written in the Old Testament. So when you say which Torah do you read, I read the the Torah that's written in the New. Uh, I mean, in the Old Testament, right, as a whole. I don't like separate Moses' book and then read just that. So I read ES. If you want me to help you, which Bible I read? I read usually ESV version, and I do not have a problem with any other translation. So I read uh, ESV. I hope that helps you out. I was not talking about translations. Everybody, did any of you hear me talk about the translation? No, but this magician no, no. guy goes to translation. I am talking about the recension. I am talking about the skeleton text. I am talking about the text, which is the planning. Do you know all of these sheep? Otherwise, you, you write it down so you can laugh at it later. Um, Brother Ali, do you mind if I help you out? Can I tell Please you which do, recension okay. I prefer? I, I, prefer this, I, I prefer the Masoretic. What, what about you, Sheik? But I don't go that far deep. I just read the translation. That's what I, I mean. No, no. You said Muslims help. claimed our scriptures has been changed. So I want to show you. You say, no, I didn't go that far. Ooh. Then you said, oh, yeah, Muslims say our Bible has been changed. Okay. The first question I asked you, which recension of the Old Testament, you're talking about translation. If you don't know what the recension is, please say that. If you know what the recension is, please tell us which recension. Ahi Ahmad, if he doesn't know, maybe you can help him. He doesn't know, man. He's just here for bands. That's what Again, he's here you, you did make me laugh. Let, let me tell you this. If I usually read the translation, but if I want to go deeper in that way, I can actually go back to the, you know, the Masoretic and the Greek and all those things to read, which I do have it actually in my office. So if I want to go there, I could go there, but I don't. I usually read the translation, which I told you I read ESV or um, I don't have any problems with any other translation. I ask you very honest, which recension do you follow? I didn't say, oh, you should follow the Masoretic text, or you should follow the Schemers, or you should follow the Lucian text. I didn't say that. I asked you, so please, if you don't know what recension you follow, just say it, and you can ask me which recension of the Quran do you follow. That would be honest. But I just want to get back to what our Brother Ali's original question was. His question was, which recension of the Old Testament do you follow? So we can actually proceed from here. And if you don't know, that's okay. No one's a scholar. We're still learning. That's all good. But I... that's what we're trying to understand so we can actually proceed with the conversation further to better understand how, whether or not the Old Testament is indeed corrupted or not. Evidentially, we want to speak with evidence. We don't want to speak of our own sort of just throwing claims because everyone can throw claims out there. And, and, and there's no point in that because the conversation won't get anywhere and we don't learn from it. Right? Okay, no. So let's learn from each other and, and answer the question which for Go ahead, let Judah, let Judah speak because the only reason 
the sheep was being addressed because he was laughing, and then this was just to prove that he doesn't know anything. You know, this guy doesn't no problem. To conversations. No problem. So, so maybe, Judah, do you mind if I ask him the same question? Yeah, so Judah, I'll ask you the same question that Brother what? Ali asked. Which no, which recension of the Old Testament do you do you hold to? We hold. Okay, I am an Israelite, so we hold we hold to the Masoretic text, right? So now let me explain something. That a lot of, I, that I that I've been listening, but I didn't hear nobody speak about. That we know, we know that the Quran is a book of reciting. So let's figure out what they are reciting. They're reciting. Matter of fact, to become any Muslim, right, you have to have the first five books of Moses. And where do you find the first bo five books of Moses? In, in the uncorruptible Bible, the, the, the Masoretic text. That's where they get their dietary laws and etc. right? And we can see in the Quran that the Quran tell you to follow a group, a certain group of people, which is the children of Israel. We can find that in a, in, okay. in, in, in a cow. You can find that in, in multiple books of the Quran. So the Quran that. is a book of... Oh, the Quran is a book of reciting. The reciting the words of they, as they hold to Allah. And that, that same Allah, that, that God that they present of in the Quran, it tells you to follow the children of Israel. And it tells you... Okay. And then, if, if that... Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If that okay, book, no if, hold on, hold on. If, 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 hold on. If what I'm saying is not true, tell me why the yeah, first five true. books of Moses, hold on. So tell me why the first five books of Moses in my book that you I need in your book to, 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 hold on, to substantiate your religion, tell me why the first five books you got to study the first five, the five books of Moses to substantiate to your religion. We don't. We don't have to study them. And we don't, we don't have to study them. So where do you get your dietary law from? Right. Oh, again, where do you get your dietary law? Can I say something? Let us respond. Yeah. You, you, you made your point. Let us respond. Okay. It doesn't say to follow the children of Israel. It doesn't say to follow the children of Israel. Number one, it doesn't say that. And it doesn't what? say we have to study the Torah at all. So you're, you're, both your points were false and wrong. Oh, oh one second. Judah, the... Judah, you spoke. Just go on mute. You spoke. You're saying we have to follow the Masoretic text. The Quran comes from the 6th, 7th century. The Masoretic comes from what century? After the Quran. How are we following something that comes after the Quran? Is the Quran be, hold on, is the Quran the Quran before or after yeah, the, the Quran. Hold on, is the Quran, the Quran before or after before the Masoretic? The Quran comes before the, the Masoretic. What are you serious? Yeah, what century, so, so Judah. What century is your, century is your yes. Masoretic text? The, hold on. The Quran was written six hundred six hundred years after. Yeah. What, what are you talking about? Ali, just I'll give it to Ali. Okay. Right. Yeah, brother right. Ali. Brother you Ali. Know, you know, you know, you know, now. Okay, oh, everybody. Before I started this conversation, I backed these Christians. Please don't come with your preconceived ideas of my religion. Please, I beg you, ask me what I believe before you straw manning us. I ask you, yet you come and tell us that we should believe in the five books of Moses. Uh, Please stop that. Hold on, Let me finish, man. One, one second, Judah. Judah, uh, allow yeah. him, allow him to sort of because you obviously mentioned a few points, and yeah. Brother Ali, hopefully we'll go good, back man. to the original original questions, and we can come to your questions as well. So, Brother Ali, over to you and Judah, please, if you can respect that, that'd be good. Okay, that was that was just a that was a <laughs> question for you, Ali. Yeah, I get to that. This is the yeah, this is the question, Ali. Thank you. We know. Okay, we know. No, no, he, he got know. your questions, bro. He got you. We were listening to you quite attentively. No, no, I, I just want to know. I just want. I want to repeat it. So just in case, you know, just for clarification. That's okay, all. sure, sure, Third, sure. No problem. Thirty seconds. If we can just straight yes, to your right. questions. Thank you. The first, the first question I have for Yali, and then I'll let you respond. Is can you please explain um, to become what? What do it take to become a Muslim, and what books that you have to study and learn? To get the dietary laws and 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 um that y'all read to become a Muslim and can you please explain that? If you let me finish, you made a couple of points. I want to react to all of them. You came with your preconceived idea about Muslims and believing in the first five weeks of Moses. We do not do that. 
Do you know why we don't do that? Because nobody on earth has access to the books of Moses. You have a couple of books in your hand which you think came from Moses. But actually, historically, factually, it is not from Moses. You said you follow the Masoretic text. Masoretic text occurs in the 10th century. This is 300 years after Islam. Before that 10th century, there is no such a thing as that Masoretic text which you have. This is from the page 9 of the book of Emmanuel Toth on Critic on Hebrew Bible. This is what he says on his intro introduction. Corruption, as well as various forms of scribal intervention, changes, correction, theological changes, one of them is anti polytheistic changes, are evidenced in, listen to this, all these changes are evidenced in all textual witnesses of the Hebrew Bible, all textual witnesses of the Hebrew Bible, including the group text now called the Masoretic text. Do you hear that? All of the text has corruption, changes, theolo theological variation and corruptions in it. All of them, especially the Masoretic text, as well as its processes. The proto-Masoretic text, even that was changed. Those who are unaware of these details, as sheep here, as this Judah guy here, those who are unaware of these details of textual criticism may think that one should not accept any corruption in the Masoretic text or any other sacred writings. The matter of fact is that there are, there are being changes made to them. Yet, in spite of their precision, even the manuscripts which they were written and vocalized by the Masoret, which already was changed, contain corruptions, changes, and erasures. More importantly, the Masoretes and before them, the suffering acted in a relatively late stage in the 10th century of the development of the biblical text. And listen to this, before they had put their meticulous principles into practice, before they did that, the text already contained corruptions and had been tampered with during the earlier period when the scribes did not yet treat the text as a, such a reverence. Therefore, paradoxically, the Sofarim and the Masoretes carefully preserved a text that was already corrupted. So when you say you follow the Masoretic text, which comes 300 years after Islam, and that Masoretic text has already been changed before it got preserved. So what are you talking about? The Bible has not been changed. The Masoretic text has been changed. If you want, let's go through one by one all of those examples. And I didn't even get to the Septuagint or the Samaritan or the Targumim or the Vulgate out of it. So there are so many recensions and not one, not one is the same. And your text, which you say is the word of God, comes 300 years after Islam. What does the Quran have to do anything with the text which comes 300 years after it? If you say that the Sea Scrolls were in existence, sure, the Dead Sea Scrolls are not the Masoretic text. They contradict the Masoretic text. It's a whole other text of it. So if you want to reject the Masoretic text and go with the Dead Sea Scrolls, we can do that. Let's do that. But for all of you Christians, who accept the Masoretic text and come to the Muslims and they say you should believe in text, they are just being ignorant as Emmanuel Pope says, that text comes from the 10th century. So please stop telling Muslims what we should believe without knowing where the text came from. Yo, can I get in now? You can, but I'd like to get the response. Can I respond now? I want to go for it. Yeah. Okay, Ali, you made a you you made a bold point, right? So, so I got I got another question for you. So tell me if the Bible and and using your logic is so corrupted and and so bad. Tell me your book and don't please be honest to the text, bro. Your Quran, 
speaks highly about the prophets of the Bible and the children of Israel. Why? As, as my book is corrupted, why your book is giving Israel praise and to follow them and to do, and, and that word Quran means to recite. What are you reciting? What, if, if, what are you reciting? Because if you're reciting something, it got to come from somewhere, right? From God. And we know, like, oh, that's what I'm asking. I'm asking him that question. So let's not sit and say, I'm, I'm, I sit and, let's not sit and say that these laws, these dietary laws that you follow, they was always in the Quran. No, 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 no. We know in history where you, where that those first five books, matter of fact, the way you pray came from the same example of the way we pray. The way concept that y'all got from praying came from the Israelites. The concept of your dietary laws came from Israelites. So if you're saying that the Bible and the books, the Bible is corrupted, that means the Quran is corrupted. Because damn, if, if that Quran do not talk, now tell me if I'm a lie and say that nowhere in the Quran it says the word Israel in there. Nowhere in the Quran it says the children of Israel in there. Can you prove to me, or is I'm lying saying that the word children of Israel is not in the Quran? Wait, hold on. Let, let, let sure. him answer. You make sure. loads of points. Let him answer. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But what I want to do before Brother Ali or Brother Shadid even responds to that, I do want to bring you back to what Brother Ali mentioned. He obviously spoke to you about the Masoretic text I know, itself. I, but he said corrupted. Uh, Did you? He said corrupted. Yeah, so I, I want I want to understand what you actually understood from what he said and whether or not you have proof or evidence against what he said before we go ahead and answer your questions. Because we can, and they're very easily okay. answerable. That's oh. not the issue, but I don't want to get it off topic because Brother Ali spoke and he was like, well, look, this is what you, the Masoretti, comes from. This is what the scholarship is saying. This is what some of the changes were. This is how some of the changes were made, both theological, scribal, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So what evidence do you have contrary to that to go, no, Ali, you are wrong. The Masoretic text is indeed preserved, and here's my evidence. For one, for one, Ali is Ali is wrong. Ali is wrong. Okay, that's, for one, the that's cool, man. Oh, if he's wrong, evidence, bro. Right, we see the points that he made. The the Masoretic text is from the tenth century, so that means it could it wasn't before the Quran. Like address those points, refute them. Matter of fact, matter of fact, the Masoretic text, the Mas the, the Masoretic text is before the Quran. Okay, Quran. Prove it. We know. Hold on, hold. On, watch this. Watch this. Prove on, it. Let me go. Let me go. Give us the scholarship, the archaeology, the the evidence of the manuscript. Prove, prove it. I just can't. Hold on, hold on. Give me a, give me a minute. You want all this scholarship? Well, that's right, that's right, man. Take your time. Take your time. Okay, you search no it up. No I tell you the scholarship. This is from the book Ernst Rundwein, an introduction to Biblia Hebraica. Any Muslim who talks to them about textual corruption should read this book. This is from page eleven, the Masoretic text. This is what they say, everybody. In fact, we do not have any. Hebrew manuscript of the entire Old Testament written earlier than the 10th century. And I don't know if these Christians are good in math. They think one plus one plus one is one, but I am good in math. So what do you mean? You should go to your Masoretic text, which didn't even exist at the time of Islam. The oldest dated codex. I have the pictures of all of these codex. Ask me, I'll show you. The oldest codex dated to 895 AD, this is from the 9th century, it contains only portions of the prophet Codex Carences. You hear that? Yeah. After that, it is Codex Aleppo, which is burned in uh, 1942. Most of it, about 40% of it is preserved. It comes from the 10th century. After that, we have Leningrad Codex. It comes from the 11th century. This is the codex when the Jews, the Ben Asher family, who put the vows in it, the Mirodot, you know the vows? They put it in it in the 11th century. Who? The Ben Asher family. But wait a minute. Are those the ones who determine what the Torah says? No. 
Why? Because before they came into it, there were two other schools of vowling. So there are different schools of vowling. Everybody is vowling it differently. All of them from the 10th century and later on. So you have different reading of the text, different writings of the text, different books in the text, different theologies in the text. This is not what Ali says. This is what the Jews themselves are saying. I told you, Ali's the word wine. Go ahead, Judah. Hopefully you found your, uh, your evidence. So looking up, looking up, looking up, it say that the Quran, the Quran was written 610, 610 and to the death of Muhammad was it was 632 AE, right? That's correct, correct? 610, 632 AE. No, it's not correct. You have the writings and you have the composition and you have the compilation. There are different detailed methodologies which have been done in different periods. So when you're talking about the writing of the Quran, the writing of the Quran was in the lifetime of our Prophet. The collection of the Quran was in the lifetime of our Prophet. Peace and blessing be with him. The compilation of the Quran that came later. Relax, Ali. Relax. 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 No might not listen, bro. I'm not here to be just just going crazy with you with the Quran and the Bible. I'm here to speak that ain't no way, shape, form, and fashion. No way. Cause what, what you what you're doing is this. Can you just show you proof that the oh, Masoretta was before the Quran? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait no, a minute. no. Just get to the point. Show oh, you you I'm, don't I'm, get I'm don't get sidetracked. The point don't that he's making is hold on. The point that he's making show is that this. the was before hold the Quran. On. He said that the Quran Quran was before the Masoretic and before the first five books of Moses, right? So you no, know, did he, I didn't say that. Bro, you just said he said it was no, before listen, the Masoretic. Let me make it clear. See, that's what I'm Masoretic. saying. He you see, the, the five books are Moses. I asked you with recension. If you say to me the books of Moses in Phoenician language, yes, I accept them. But if you say no, the books of Moses according to the Masoretic text, then no. <laughs> Yeah. So, so, so I look, let me, let me just simplify it. Let me just simplify just it for you. Just... Go ahead. Okay, so sorry. Uh, Akhil, do you want to make a quick point? Or... Yeah, the, po the point is this. Ali is giving us references. He's pointing us to scholarship. He's pointing us to days. He's given us everything that we need, and we understand what he's saying. So now. basically, let me, let me maybe repeat I'm a layman, right, Judah? So maybe let me just repeat what Brother Ali said, right? So what Brother Ali was essentially saying was there may have been, well, obviously we accept that Moses was given the Torah, no doubt. Way, 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 way in the past. Given the Torah, we accept that. However, you believe in the Masoretic text to be the Torah. This is what we disagree with based on the evidence that Brother Ali is bringing to you. He's saying, the Masoretic text, the earliest copies that we have, the earliest, exist in the 10th century, right? Exist in the 10th century, which exists only a thousand years after, uh, uh, only a thousand years before, or 400, 300, 400 years after Islam. That's the earliest copies that you have of the text that you believe to be the Torah. And he's also giving you evidence from scholars who have identified the fact that there have there has been a considerable amount of corruption within the Masoretic text itself. He's providing you evidence, right? From scholarship, from dating, from manuscripts. This is what evidence is. Now, if you, to refute Ali, you should go, well, I appreciate what you've said, but you're wrong. He's a scholar that says the Masoretic text has not been, that, that, it, that it is indeed preserved, and that it is exactly what Moses was revealed. He is the original manuscripts. He is what scholarship says. Theology and script is, 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 is exactly the same. The scribes didn't get it wrong, so on and so forth, whatever the case is. Provide something, because right now all you're saying, my bro, is just, you're wrong. No, bro, you're wrong. That's not evidence. That's just, with respect, your opinion. And that's not really going to hold weight. Do you, do you see what I'm saying? We want to speak with evidence so we can learn. 
okay, for one, we all like we in this discussion, right? So, what the evidence, what the evidence Ali bring bringing, that's opinion. For two, I, and when I mentioned, I gave him dates, I gave him dates, and he said, "Oh no, no, I, no, that's that's wrong." But he can he can refute none of the dates I gave him. So it's like, what we doing here? Okay, you, you gave dates die. based on what? Where where oh. did you get these dates from? No, oh, I'm serious. Where, where did you get these dates from? Is it you yourself saying it? Do you have the scholarship? Did you name a book? Where did you get the dates from that you gave? Where, where did you get these dates from? What was the date, Achi? I didn't catch it. Which date was it? Well, I, I said, I said that, I said, then he said it. Oh, no, no, that's not the way he said it. What the, date the did you give? What's the state for the Masoretic? My argument went over your head. I do not say Quran was dead in his book, but not. The Quran has come to us in the seventh century. Oh my God! Simple put seventh century. So yeah, tell me you have the Masoretic text before the seventh century. I dare you. So the Quran wasn't written as you said six thirty two A.E. Which that is, is the, the date of compilation. Which is the seventh you know, century. Man. Let's just keep it simple. Uh, which six thirty two or six fifty or whatever date you are saying, that is falls within the seventh century. 7th century, Masoretic text, 10th century. That's at least a 300 plus year gap. And but you gotta text oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. You got to understand there was different forms. So you can't just say, you can't just, you just can't use, and especially, the, it, it was older. Okay, it was can, older can you just prove that the Masoretic was before the Quran? Bro, it was so older Quran is about 7th century. We, we go, like the brother said, we're going to keep it basic, basic. Quran is about 7th century. Can you show Masoretic text before the seventh century? Masoretic, remember the key word is Masoretic. You said you followed a Masoretic. The brother Ali has proven by scholarship that the Masoretic texts bro, only not, are dated to the 10th century. Can you show us a Masoretic text that existed before the seventh century? Can you show us a Masoretic text that is dated before the seventh century? Can you do that? Bro, give me, you gotta give me. And a look, if you don't know Judah, if you don't know, man, that's cool. Like, no, go ahead. Uh, I said, give me some time. Go ahead, go ahead, talk, bro. Cause this this guy here, bro, he 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 talking no, about no, scholarship, no, cool. and all he did was all he did was cite one one little source, and that scholarship. But uh, but all, all it was just an introduction. No problem. No problem. No problem. It's a book of no nine hundred no pages. All of the examples no are given there. If you want, get your Bible. I get my Bible. You read your Masoretic text, and I'll read my Bible. Let's don't see which Ali, one is changed Ali, and which one is preserved. Don't get a burst. Don't do that, because when I go to them cows, Let's go. Get your book of Esther, chapter 4, verse 17. Let's get a book of Esther, chapter 4, verse 17. You read it, and I read it. Right? We can do that. If you want to go, you want to match Bible, you want to match Bible, get Quran, you're going to fail, bro. Don't do it. So this is my okay, challenge, right. then. Just read one verse of it. Okay, you got it. Watch this. Give me a look, second. Right, uh, this is okay. Like you got. I think. I think. Look. Yeah. I think. Bro. All, all that. <laughs> <conversation, laughs> <is all laughs> don't all go to it. No, he said he want to match Bible. All that is. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. I think that would be a good idea. He want to match. We win this discussion or lose by evidence and proof, not talking junk, not talking tough and bad. Deal with the evidence and proof, please. Evidence and proof. No, he brought it up. Ali said he want to go to the Bible. He wanna go, go ahead. Book go ahead. Book. We can do so, that. Esther? Book of Esther, yeah. chapter four, seventeen. Please read it. Okay, let's go. Hold on. Matter of fact, I'm gonna look up four seventeen. Let me get the let me get the let me get the page in your book. Then that way that way you can answer for the page. Just your read book. the rest, man. But how is that fair? You I gotta read a verse, but you can read a verse. I uh, read a verse. verse. Let's finish this verse, right? Man, I'm upset that he didn't prove the, the thing about the matter. Okay, he doesn't know. Okay, he's, 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 brother, brother Ali, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. That's the four seventeen. Here we go. So Mordecai went his way and did according to all the all that Esther and had commanded him. Okay, what's what's your point? Okay, that was your verse. Yeah, you finished with the verse. Okay, let me read it. You said sure, let me read it. Sure, yeah, let me read it. Sure. Yes. You want that? Esther four seventeen. So Mordecai went and did all that Esther commanded him, 
And right. he besought the Lord, making mention of all of the words of the Lord. And he said, Lord God, King ruling over all, all things are in my power, and there is no one that shall oppose thee, and in thy purpose you shall save Israel, for thou hast made the heavens and the earth, and everything wonderful thing in it, and thou art the Lord of all, and there is no... Why don't you let me read the Bible? Bro. That's not yes, that's that is Exodus 17. 17. No, so the text which I'm reading is not right, Ria. Yeah? No, My text is wrong, yeah? About, it's a, you are Esther. finished with two sentences. I'm not finished yet with the same verse. Bro, after 417. Say Esther so 417. Time. Hold on, so more, you said 17, 17, right? 17, yes. Yep. So Mordecai went his way and did according to all that Esther had commanded him period exactly let me read my bible then mordecai the same guy which you are talking about went and did all that esther commanded him and he besought the lord making mention of all of the words of the lord and he said lord god king ruling of all and i can go on and on and on and on for five minutes on the same verse either your bible is wrong or my bible is wrong so please tell us which bible is the authentic one yours or mine bro what book are you reading exactly. just bro, say have the you the authentic making. or not if you bro, have no, the I don't think, brother ali bro. brother ali i don't think you understand that right yeah. so if he says his bible is authentic any text which goes against that authentic text must be wrong then so if my text has so many addition in it my text cannot be authentic because the Masoretic text which he read must be authentic then so please judas tell me that my text which i read has additions and is not authentic bro i don't know what what the, what the book you reading because that's okay, not let me I'm, tell you which book i'm reading the... this is the two billion septuagint i'm reading the septuagint version of the old testament in the book of esther septuagint has 50 percent more text I'm not reading do you hear that books Exactly, the Satuagin oh, is not authentic, know, yeah? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, bro. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't think you understand what you're doing. You said go to the Bible and you read out the Septuagint. That yes, that is sense. the Bible. No, that, that's not the Bible. Septuagin okay, okay everybody, Bible, okay, I agree with you. Judah, let's agree with each other. So the Septuagint text of the Bible is not the Bible, is not authentic. Okay. Do we agree with that? The Septuagin is... uh is the 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 greek version the greek version of the new testament they do have some old testament writings but that as the 417 is not part of the bible okay the septuagint is not authentic i agree with you septuagint goes back according to the letter of aristeas if anybody would believe that 200 bce or in the Codex Sinaiticus, Vaticanus, and Alexandrianus is where Septuagint is to be found in the 4th century. So the text of the 10th century, which this guy believed, is the authentic one. And the text of the 4th century, the Septuagint, has been corrupted. Notice the text before Islam, Septuagint, has been corrupted. He agreed with me, Masoretic text. 90% of the quotations of the New Testament, of the Old Testament, is based on the Septuagint and not the Masoretic text. Well, New Testament, listen to this, Matthew. Yeah, let me finish, let me finish my point. Let me finish my point, man. I give you the mic. You can take it with you. You the correct way, Ali. So how can we believe in your scholarship? Just let me finish my point, man. Sure, I get to that. How can you believe in your scholarship? You already know what book you're reading, Ali. Sure, just You don't know you're reading the Bible or the Septuagint. You don't know which Please let me finish, man. So everybody, no, you'll be witness to this. He agreed with me that the text before Masoretic, the Septuagint, fourth century before Islam, has been corrupted. Now, the New Testament, Mark, Matthew, John, Luke, Paul, Peter, all of them called the Septuagint, which you rejected. So tell me, why are you going against the apostles, the Bible which they believe, to say that Bible is not authentic, and the Bible which you have, which they sure. never had seen, is the authentic one? Tell us why you reject the New I Testament. Mean, Mark, Luke, John, Christ. Hold on, watch this. Mark, Luke, John, Christ, all the apostles, right? Was they reading out the Masoretic text, or was they reading out the Septuagint? The Septuagint.
So, so Christ was reading out the Old Testament and the Septuagint. You asked me about Matthew and Paul. I'm telling you, no, if you want example, you just Christ, ask me. Hold on. I asked you, Christ and all apostles, was they reading out the Masoretic text or they was reading out the Septuagint? According to Matthew, they were reading Septuagint. According to Paul, they were reading Septuagint. Just ask me. I'll give you examples. Give me a book, chapter, and verse to show that it was reading out of chapter. Sure, go to the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 5. When Paul is talking uh -huh. about the body which is prepared for them. Yeah? This is a quotation of the book of Psalms. I dare you, please show us everybody in the room of the Masoretic text which you have in the Old Testament, where your Heivafe is telling you that he has prepared the body for you. Hold on, watch this. And Hebrews, right? You want me to go to Hebrews? Watch this. Oh, yes, you want an example. This is one of them. I can give you all of the Hebrews, book of the Bible. Hebrews you want. chapter 10? Chapter 10, yeah, verse, verse 5, 10, if I'm not mistaken. Five. Five. Yeah, but uh, Therefore, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering, and you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. And he this is a quotation of the book of Psalms, right? No. No? You sure about that? Bro, are you, are you reading the Septuagint on the Bible, Ali? I'm reading the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 5, right? This is the New yeah, Testament. The Bible. Which one are you reading out of? I don't believe in any Bible. All of them has been corrupted. I ask you, you say you Muslims are wrong. You've been hating the Bible. You've been hating the Jews. You've been hating these Christians. I told you, okay. I'm a hater according Bro, to you. Let me be hating them. I, I went to the Jews themselves, I, I, Emmanuel Tov. I, don't know I went to Ed Woodwine. I don't know. Listen, bro. I don't think you know who you're dealing with. Me and me and what's the name are not the same people. I am an Israelite, right? Okay. I believe in the Old Testament and the New Testament. Me and him don't have the same view. I understand. Okay? Do you believe in the Book of Hebrews? People. I, I believe in the new, I believe in the old and new testament. Exactly, the book of Hebrews is in the New Testament, right? No. Yes, I believe in the old and new testament and the Exactly. I, I agree you guys, with you. But you, you guys see? Some Israel, but you got some Israelites that just believe in the old testament. But I'm not okay, one of those Israelites. Not, not the issue. I'm telling you, if you believe in the New Testament, New Testament is using for 90% of their quotations the Septuagint. But you say the Septuagint cannot be trusted, has additions, has been corrupted. You should go to the Masoretic text. If you are right, let's give you that. So let's agree with you. The Masoretic text has been preserved from the 10th century and on. I agree with that. From the 10th century and on, the Masoretic text has been preserved. But the New Testament uses the Septuagint. If you say that is the text which is uh, true, the Masoretic, that means the Septuagint, which goes against the Masoretic text, is corrupted. That was the text before Islam. That was the text the New Testament used. That text must be corrupted then. We should so, agree on that, right? Okay, right. So if I show you in the Quran that it tells you to follow, follow the children of Israel and that they are holy people, then then can the, would that make the Quran corrupt? Because you can't show me nowhere in my text that I say follow the Quran, but I can show you in your text and say follow Israel. Now, I could do where, that. Where does, the, you keep saying, where does the Quran say follow Israel? The Quran says the opposite. The Quran tells the Israelites to follow the Quran. What are you talking about? Are you sure about that? You sure about that? Yep. Yep. Uh, let's, yep. Go let's go there. Yeah, let's, let's go there. Let's go there. Let's go there. Let's show me where the Quran says Let's answer this question. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you guys sure, let's just start with that. With just let me conclude the previous topic. Sure. Everybody. These Christians came up and talking about that Muslims be attacking the Bible. The Bible has not been changed. The other so, guys say, our book is an inspired book. It doesn't have to be perfect. I agree with you. Thank you very much. Your book is not perfect. Then we, get, we got a couple of examples of perfect. earlier texts before Islam, which so, according I, to I, themselves I, has I, been corrupted. I, I, I so let's go with the new topic oh, then. Hold on. I, I, Ali, my, my, man, my man chosen, he's a good... He, he's a good, he a good person to talk to you about all hey, that. You too, things. Judah. We had a nice conversation, to be honest. Other Christians be yelling and cussing and whatnot. You be respectful. Okay. And